It's Harvest Festival time, and it's your opportunity to decorate the Palace Lake with floating lanterns. Yippee! The player who earns the most honor with their display will win the game, and it really is all about the honor. Lanterns is a quick, simple, and strategic tile laying and set collection game for two to four players. Please allow me to show you how to play. First set the game up by stacking the appropriate amount of lake tiles according to the number of players. Then separate the lantern cards by color into stacks according to the number of players as well. The dedication tokens are stacked according to type. Four of a kind, three pair, or seven unique colors. Stack them in numerical order from the smallest number on the bottom to the highest number on top. These are your victory points. It's probably wise to get the largest ones before anyone else. Place the starting lake tile in the center of the table and give each player a lantern card which corresponds to the color of the lanterns facing their side of the table. Keep your lantern cards visible for everyone to see. The player with the red lantern card gets the start player marker. Give every player a turn order card for reference in three lake tiles from the stack. Now begin the game by doing one, two, or all three of the available actions in this order. Exchange a lantern card, make a dedication, and place a lake tile. This third action of placing the lake tile is the only mandatory action you need to do each turn, but it's always the last action that you do. And would you believe that on your first turn it's the only action you can do? To place a lake tile, you can put it anywhere on the board that is adjacent to another tile already played. After placing the lake tile, give out lantern cards following these rules. If you match the color of a side on the tile you're placing to any tiles already on the board, then you take a bonus lantern card in that color. Match one side, take one card. And wait, there's more. If you match more sides, you take as many lantern cards as you have sides that are matching. Fantastic! If there are any platforms on any tiles including the new tile and the lantern colors match as well, then you take a favor token for each platform. Finally, give each of the other players a lantern card according to the color of the lanterns on the side of the new tile that is facing them, just as you did with the starting lake tile. Start with the active player, then proceed clockwise. If you run into a shortage of lantern cards, then some players may not get a card on that turn. Dang it! So you can plan this strategically. Draw a new lake tile to replenish your hand and the next player takes her turn. Once you've collected enough favor tokens, then you may wish to use them to pay for the first action available on your turn, which is to exchange one of your lantern cards for a different lantern card of another color. You do this in order to make sets to trade in. Once you've collected the correct number and color of lantern cards, you may perform the second action of your turn. Make a dedication. Simply turn in a set of your lantern cards of the correct type to claim the top token on the proper stack. Four of a kind, three pair, or seven unique lantern cards. The player who is quickest to do so gets the most victory points. And that's the point of this game. Grab them up quickly. The game ends once every player has placed the last lake tile from their hand. After that final tile is in place, each player takes one last turn in order to exchange lantern cards and make a dedication. Now players add up victory points to determine the winner. Ties go to the player with the most favor tokens remaining in their possession. This game is rather light, but it has a good bit of tactical play to it, so it is rather engaging. Played with the recommended number of lake tiles and lantern cards, it plays quite quickly. However, the very first time I learned to play this game, we missed that point and used every tile and card in the game. I actually enjoyed playing this longer version better because I had more time to plan my strategy. But that's my preference and not the designer's intent. Either way, this game designed by Christopher Chung is fun to play. The components are high quality and the artwork by Beth Sobel is quite beautiful, especially when you see a mosaic of tiles spread out on the table near the end of the game. So go ahead and celebrate the Harvest Festival with lanterns. <laughs>